guys, you know how frustrating this can be where you're trying to put in your Google Finance formula. You're just trying to get a stock on a particular date and see what the price is. In this case, we're going to go with Apple. And then you get this kind of like quad of just information where you get the date, the close, and it gets put in almost kind of like a mini table. So I'm going to show you how you can do that nice and easy and just get the price all by itself in a single cell. So this is the current formula where you went Google Finance, parentheses, stock, close parentheses, and then of course price, the date. In this case, we're doing December 13th, 2020 for no particular reason. And so what you're gonna do instead is actually we're gonna use an index formula. So I'm gonna show you that real fast. So I just go ahead, went ahead and put in the stock, I'll just say Apple. You notice right here, it just has the $121.78 instead of grouping it together like this, it just does that single cell, just like this. This is the formula. So you're gonna do index, and then open parentheses, Google Finance, do that exact same formula, and then close it out with two comma two, basically just helping you kind of finish out those rows and columns and everything, and voila, that way you don't have to have any other like weird quad thing going on. I keep calling it a quad, There's, it's like a mini table. Anyway, let me show you this if you want to make it dynamic. So let's go ahead and do a stock like Lulu. We'll go, I'm just going to take out Apple. I'm going to just reference it to cell A3 here. And then I'll go Enter. And voila, I get the stock as it was on that date. And if I want to change that date, and let's just say I want to go ahead and do like um, 121, and we'll just go plus one and I'll just drag that on down and I want to have a dynamic date I can just go like this perfect and then you just watch <laughs> and you know why that didn't work because I didn't lock the cell here perfect there we go okay and that's it it's nice it's easy it's a great way to be able to kind of prevent getting that weird table issue which honestly has bothered me for the longest time and that is how you solve it all right guys have fun with google finance and that's stock trader jack out stock trader jack includes tons of free content and tutorials on google sheets cool scanners for finding great stocks and how to use your broker's tools like a pro especially weeble for more great videos hit the subscribe button and drop a like or a comment we love the support check us out at stocktraderjack.com do stocks your way.